So left atrial appendage occlusion has shown to be non-inferior to warfarin uh, in randomized clinical trials. However, the standard for stroke prevention in atrial fibrillation is now novel oral anticoagulants rather than uh, warfarin. Our current knowledge about left atrial appendage occlusion versus NOAX uh, are sparse. So uh, the purpose of this study was to compare clinical outcomes among atrial fibrillation patients treated by left atrial appendage occlusion versus NOAX. So we started 1,071 patients who had successful left atrial appendage occlusion uh, with the AMPLATS uh, AMLET device and uh, that were enrolled in the AMPLATS uh, observational study. This LAO patient cohort was uh, compared with a control cohort of 1,184 incident AF patients treated by NOAX, sampled from nationwide Danish registries. The two groups were compared by propensity score matching using each parameter of the chats FASC and HASPLAT scores as uh, covariates. In this way, patients in the two groups had the same risk of stroke and bleeding at baseline. So the primary outcome of this study was a composite of ischemic stroke, major bleeding or mortality. There were significantly fewer events with LAO than with NOAX, showing a hazard ratio of 0 0.57 in favor of left atrial appendage occlusion. This was driven uh, by significantly less major bleeding and lower mortality for LAO versus NOAC. The ischemic stroke rate was low and did not differ between the two groups. Kaplan Meier curves for the primary composite endpoint of ischemic stroke, major bleeding, or mortality did clearly demonstrate the lower number of events with LAAO compared with NOAC. Of interest, separation of the curve started after a few weeks and continued to spread more and more over the two year period of follow up in favor of left atrial appendage occlusion. The results suggest that left atrial appendage occlusion in comparison with NOAC improved clinical outcomes, including survival in patients with atrial fibrillation and a high risk of stroke and major bleeding. Uh, some of the challenges that we have for stroke protection in AF are under treatment and non adherence to anticoagulation. And this is at least partly related to bleeding issues or fear of bleeding. Left atrial appendage occlusion can be attractive as an alternative to NOAX in atrial fibrillation patients with a high bleeding risk or prior major bleeding episodes. I hope that the study results will lead to an increase in referral of AF patients with a high bleeding risk or prior major bleeding episodes to left atrial appendage occlusion as an alternative to NOAC treatment. Some of these patients may not be offered anticoagulation at all due to bleeding issues. I think we need to confirm the results of this study in randomized clinical trials comparing left atrial appendage occlusion uh, with uh, NOAX. Currently, we have uh, only a class 2B indication for left atrial appendage occlusion, and we will need more randomized uh, data better evidence before we get a better uh, classification for recommendation of left atrial appendage uh, occlusion. So uh, one of the future randomized uh, trials coming up is the Catalyst trial. This uh, study will be initiated very soon and it will enroll 2,650 AF patients with chats VASC equal to three or more with a one-to-one -one, uh, randomization between amulet uh, implantation or uh, NOAC. Uh, 